sorry, Rain, you might not be able to see. Ladies and gents, what's our plan? Everybody. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, what? I should probably turn that down. Well, hey. Can they hear me. us right now? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. Wow. I don't don't say anything here. stupid, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> Just go to your Twitch. chat and you can hear us. Please let us know how good we sound or, well, how bad we sound. We yes. Yeah. We sound real good. And then type CCD. All right. 
Hello. Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy. Hello. All right. Turning the mic down a little bit. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> lovely, lovely. Would it help that turning this sound volume sound? down on this? What's that? On this. Yeah, that's oh, no, no, no. I got okay. it. We're all good. How are we sounding, Jeremy? What are your thoughts on the sound right now? Do we sound <laughs> pleasant? <laughs> My parents might be watching this. I'm not going to swear for your parents. I'm sorry. You guys are still on the microphone. I know. I know. It's such a All thing. right. We'll get started here soon. Yeah. Yeah, this is okay. it. Just want to do a quick mic like check. It looks like we're sounding okay. Yeah. All right. Oh, I'm going to switch on over <laughs> to our main screen so you all can see the lovely team of Frank and Bean's Junkyard Boogie. Woo! And me on the mic. Uh, well, I am on the microphone, but me on the webcam. Oh, they can How see. Exciting. Again. Hi. Wow. So Look at that. <laughs> oh. Um, oh, cool. Jeremy is streaming from a bowling alley because he is a champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Jeremy. Wow. Is, Jeremy, can you get a turkey you. for us? Fantastic. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm <laughs> Okay. I'll go ahead and get us going here, folks. So. Hello, everybody. Good evening. Thank you for joining us on Friday the 13th. We're going to end the week on a high note. Ain't that right, folks? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. I'm so afraid I'm to Professor look at him in the Gamer, eyes. Gamer the Jeremy. Jeremy. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I am super excited to be presenting this amazing student project that happened in AmLab Fall 2019. So uh, without further ado, what I'm going to do I said do, do twice, which I think is pretty appropriate. Yeah. yeah. Through, um, is I'm going to uh, sort of let the team here introduce themselves. So what we've done in the past streams this week is we've gone around, had folks say their name, what their role in the team was, what they're studying. Um, and, and yeah, we're going to go with that. So how about we start it off, folks, since you guys got the round table happening over there. So let's get it going. My name's <laughs> My name's Haley. Haley's off camp. Hold on, Haley. Sorry. I, well, don't apologize. It's just the camp setup. Oh. <laughs> yeah, oh no. Um, I was a technical director for this Whoa. project, and I'm a 3D animation teacher. Good. <laughs> Your turn. <laughs> Hello, I'm Rainy. I was the producer and an animator and background designer for the game. Uh, I am Emma, I was one of the animators for the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Cameron, um, I was the 3D modeler slash artist for this video game, making some of the props and the uh, backgrounds. And I'm Ben Heuser, I'm the art director and uh, one of the animators for the project. Woo. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Like that that so, camera's a person. That was really cool. <laughs> it's weird. Though. So we're going to go ahead and do, uh, since this is our last stream of the week, we're, kinda, we're going to kind of mix it up a little bit. Uh, okay. We're going to do some gameplay, and these yeah. wonderful, wonderful artists have included for us some amazing behind-the-scenes work to talk about their process and developing what it is you will witness um, in a few seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to motion Haley on over here to actually give us the first live playthrough. Now I'm going to get off camera. All right. Good one. So Good one, if Cameron. You're, um, if you're narrating Haley, you can just speak up. And then folks, if you don't mind, since we can't hear Haley as good, she's over here. Okay. Well, um, here's the basic game for this. And there's his like little trailer with all his doodads sitting off to the side. Um, so what Rain and um, Emma did for this project was like the little uh, enemies, and then Ben was like the main person to work on like the uh, Frank. So we can talk about it if you guys want. Yeah. Are we allowed to talk? Well, well actually, I mean, yes. <laughs> At any point, in, <laughs> if at any point in time, now we are in a little bit of a delay, folks, so yeah. if at any point in time you do have a question that you would like to ask our amazing creators here, uh, feel free to put that in the chat. We will field questions, happy to do so as we're going through. So it's totally fine um, if you had a question 
and we might be showing something and then it might be pertaining to something else, uh, we will do our best to make sure those questions are addressed. I will also be asking questions uh, where appropriate, but yes, you may certainly all okay. chat amongst one okay. another as it makes sense um, for certain areas if you want to sort of pass the buck on talking about something. Cool. I have a, I wanted to add that this, it's our, our game is basically like a little, a little comedy uh, side-scrolling thing about this real gross dude in his fart who just live in this trash world and they love trash, they love talking about trash, eating trash, <laughs> um, and then all of a sudden all these cleaning products come out from the sewers and are trying to clean up his world. And he's not a fan of that, so he has to destroy all, oh. all of the. Oh Listen. shoot! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Start <not> over. <laughs> well, he's R.I.P. Yeah. So I guess the cleaning products will take over. Um, will. But yeah, it's just a little fun beat 'em up type style game uh, with some real potty humor that only five year olds and us think is funny as. If you were in the classroom, you can tell that's true. <laughs> Always great conversations coming out yeah. of the Garrett Boogie, that is for sure. Always. We talked about farts way too much, and I was a fan. I don't way know Way too else. much. Yeah. Definitely so. made the whole class giggle as we yeah. were talking the whole entire time while the class was like silent, Stead. and then you hear us giggling in the background <laughs> about farts. So, so here's a question. Here's a super serious question. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. How integral? That sounded really cool to say. Um, yeah, that was fancy. Thank you. Um, integral. <laughs> was humor um, in sustaining all of your interest in building the project? Oh, a hundred percent. That was yeah. A hundred percent. I don't. I think, does it like reflect everyone in the group? Would you say? I think so. <laughs> yeah. I think especially this one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't point fingers. Hey, 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 you, most of that rap was all you. I just R did it. Emma was the designer of the the rat that was at the beginning, and Emma just died of laughter when we told Emma to put a bunch of nipples on the rat. And I think that explains. <laughs> only appropriate. I think that explains <laughs> everything. <laughs> So, no, <laughs> the right. look I'm getting, we'll, I don't we'll, think it does. We'll, we'll get some close-ups of those nipples yeah. for you guys <laughs> later. There it is. There it is. There's my rat. There's a little bit this of is... censorship on the rat nipples. Sure. <laughs> His, His name is Koozie. Um, many of the design choices actually were uh, research intensive. I, I did witness that research was occurring yes. for each of the characters' development. Many so, yes. absolutely. I can kindly say that there is a, a, a reason behind that. We're true artists. Yes. Every yes. every nipple had intention. Yeah. So 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 tell us a little bit more about what's happening here, Haley. We'll put you back on the on the hot seat. I just came not toilet seat. Actually, came across the board from my instructor. So Haley, can you talk a little bit about what it was to be the technical director? Um, it was actually really hard um, <laughs> because, like, I honestly had no idea what I was doing, but. I feel like I did pretty good. Yeah. You did amazing. You did great. You did great. Um, You're the real MVP. Yes. Yeah. Like, so I had to learn everything from scratch. <coughs> but this is actually helping me with my thesis because it's kind of like the same capstone. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. Not yeah. thesis. <laughs> sorry. We don't call it. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Um, but okay. yeah, it's um, yeah. So, um, what, what, what were some of your like favorite parts mm -hmm. of? doing if that's a thing and then what were some of your so okay how about i'll better phrase this what were some of um what was one of the biggest challenges that you overcame uh, um <laughs> well at first like since i didn't know what to do it was really hard to like figure, like like having a starting point of what to do um so i just like went on youtube a lot and just like researched through there just to like figure out how to do a specific thing that i need um, so after I started doing that a lot, I didn't need YouTube as much. So I thought that was like kind of like a aha moment. I'm like, oh my god, I finally got it. Um, other than that, I think it was everything else was pretty self-explanatory. Whenever I had a question, they were always there to help me. And you mostly always knew exactly what the problem was, other than the teleporter, which we just gave up. Teleporters, science, science too. Yeah, yeah. So we just deleted that. So it's fine. 
<laughs> yeah. A lot of troubleshooting. Yeah. It was a lot of troubleshooting. I will say that besides Cameron, none of us else have experience in uh, Unity. So without Haley, literally none of this would have yeah. been able to be created like at literally. all. She was the 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 bread and butter. The, <laughs> the bread and butter. <laughs> <laughs> the bread. So, okay, so, so if you okay, this is my next question. And I, I guess I'm sure there's some questions, but here mm -hmm. we go. Um, so if you could do it all over again, if you would, um, what would you do? How would you do it differently? I think uh, just like I come from just more like narration based. Um, stuff and just what I personally like to do is just the designs more than like mm -hmm. anything I think it would have just been so much smarter to start with like the tech stuff or like designing the the layout of the game yeah. way sooner before that we did and I just that's just like my own uh, selfish need to design other things than like do the hard stuff first but yeah. I don't know if anybody else can attest to that or you mean like maybe, like adjusting the artwork yeah I, I'd rather do the artwork <laughs> than over than the than the tech stuff over it which yeah. I'm sure I'm not alone in that so yeah okay yeah nice. well, I, I think as as creatives that's not a surprise yeah that mm -hmm. that is and I think that you know it's not unheard of that for um you know as an artist that that's where you start and that's what motivates decisions right so I think that in watching every major step into game development, um, you can sort of see where it's like it clicks. It's like, oh, yeah. that's something that we can now design it, like mm -hmm. around it, right? Like we have yeah. expectations yeah. that are clear, right, and set. But I think it's pretty cool that y'all just dove right into it and we're like, <laughs> we gotta make a game, so let's yeah. let's figure out how we do that, mm -hmm. um, for better or for worse. I think that you came out on top and everybody sort of like learned their own way of, of getting motivated and making things for it. Sure. Right. So very cool. Me too. That's my favorite animation. <laughs> the push. Yes. As he's cheering him on. I'm curious, can I give that a run through? Yes. Since I yeah. think there were some, oh. some edits made. <coughs> yeah, okay, sure. that yeah a lot. Right. So oh that's the so, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. 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 That is oh, no, I said it. that is the oh, Unity that. Kit uh, menu. Uh, Star Trek, because then it has little parts in it. Because <laughs> I even added a couple of parts and padded it. It's a good idea. Have you guys read the chat? Right. Yeah, that'd be a good idea to get to the good. Okay, start it. So I'm going to boot this back up, folks. Sorry for the delay there. Yes. Now I'm on camera, that's nice. <laughs> I, I do agree that the game kind of does, like, is reminiscent of, like, how Gumball like yeah, matches yeah. like a bunch of different medias and that's kind of like ours i like that about ours yeah. that yeah. is right so who's, who's pc herbert here i don't know i don't know oh, right. i think okay. they go to ccad well, here though you, yeah CCAD. thank you I appreciate it or it's maybe p chermit <laughs> they couldn't. P. Sherman. That's how I read it too. Right. P. Sherman. P. Sherman. P. Sherman. Wait, wait. <laughs> or I just really, um, I have to Russ say back. how much I enjoy the fluidity of the animations. They're just so fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just want to punch things. Liz, the mouse is on the screen. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, no gosh. <laughs> I can't even see that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. I gotta I know what this... oh, my computer's <laughs> oh, oh, Cameron, <laughs> Cameron's computer froze. Box, uh, Cameron. It's on fire now. The scripts oh. would it work, so I just kind of <laughs> gave up. I had, I had what he said. He basically introduces the character okay. and the world and the little story. Um, yeah. Do you have the text thing? Yeah, do you, you want me to read? read it? Yeah, read to oh, our okay. viewers. Okay. You want me read to, to the... our viewers what Die. the rat says. So I'll do it in my best rat. Wait, hold on. Voice. Let me go up to the rat so this is okay. All right. Go down. Oh, I think he's, he's too big for the hole. He's, he's yeah, he's a chunky man. Yes. All right. Ah, young stinky Frank, come help. Our greatest fears have spawned from the depths of our bowels. They have come to rid our wonderfully filthy world with bubbly suds and heavily rotated seasonal scents. 
Uh, <laughs> and then he says, press space to jump and K to smash these disinfectant devils back where they came. Long live trash. That's, that's basically what wow. he did. Wow. <laughs> you did perfect with the rat. Thank you. Yes, I will. I'll do it. I'll do it all over again. Every time you reset okay. the level. That was excellent. Thank you. Why thank was you. That not voice recorded? So I demand a immediate update within the hour. I'm just kidding. Don't do that. I could do it right last, after this. It was a last minute decision. Like we didn't even have like an intro. Yeah, we need. Because also the, the the kit that we used, the cape, is just a little oh, yeah. obscure for the a kit punch. Is yeah. Nice, but it's like very intensive. Yeah. Because like even like I unhooked all the animations for like the shooting animation, but it's still there. So she still pops up if you try to yeah, shoot. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. yeah. It didn't happen. You didn't see that. Yeah. I, I I unhooked it. I don't know why it still works. <laughs> that that's his alter ego. That's a part of the <laughs> That's his alter it's, ego. You know what we say in the industry? We say it's a feature, not a bug. That's true. That's, that's a like good. A, you basically get that. three characters right. and two, and so you Frank Beans and then. I am defying physics. Her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. That happened. <laughs> Frank so and can Fly. Can folks also. talk a little bit about? Um, some of the challenges, and this is the biggest one, like some of the challenges in like unifying everything. Like I'm really digging, I got this fence here, I got, mm -hmm. that was interesting. I've got these 3D things, I've got a lot going on on my screen. And so yeah. you speak a little bit about the process of, of tying that all together. Yeah. Of the, the timeline of it all and stuff, or? How do you feel like, about it? Just the visuals, I think. Well, I mean, I think that like, we all came, like, we have, like, 2D people on the team, and we have 3D people on yeah. the team, so we kind of, like, had to, like, come together and think of ways that we can incorporate all of our art into one game and keep it cohesive and stuff. I think Ben did a pretty good job making sure that all fit into the same world and stuff, because, like, we had ideas, and then he kind of helped, like, lead that a little bit, too, and, like, everyone else got together and kind of, you know, what, like, made plans of, like, what all we should make and... yeah. Um, what Frank would do, or what Frank would have in his world, and how it would look, and the color palette, and all that and stuff. Oh, we, like Cameron was saying, since we, we wanted to, Cameron and Haley are 3D artists, so we especially wanted them to be able to, like, make something, like, uh, um, cre like creatively wise, rather than the tech side of it. Um, but we got a good advice from Liz here mm -hmm. to include, like, small little like 2d stuff in the 3d objects that'll it'll help it merge a lot um and just i i also think <laughs> just <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> i made a grave error oh, and i realized it Cam so. camera's computer here keeps I freezing <laughs> it's like oh, it's like green it's just like, oh. <laughs> i'm turning the camera off uh, no um Anyway, I think just like the mix of media too, just like adds to the trashy feel. Mm -hmm. I think it could look yeah. like complete garbage, but that would we would be like, that's intentional. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, Sorry, should, I, should I not admit that on camera? Um. No, I think it's an interesting point to raise and like yeah. what direction you could take it, or thinking in terms of like if it isn't working, how do you address it? Like what, True. in a way that can still be like justifiable. Yeah. I, I guess another like another part of that is like. Did, what games or other like animations or things? What did you look at for like inspiration? That, like to, to like mm -hmm. sort of strengthen that argument of like, okay, we're making this choice. Yeah. We want to include three D and two D because and we have a strong team die. in both. Oh wait. Yeah, I just um. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> <Three games. laughs> I don't yeah, understand. Yeah. Uh, sometimes machine with a surfboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a surfboard. I feel like I'm very excited. It's an iron. <laughs> it's um, his ironing board shield. Right. That's right. Um, that makes that makes way more sense. <laughs> um, so, so were there some references that you all were looking at and sort of thinking about that more? Like How in, did I die? It, oh, that's fine. Go ahead like in the ch in the chat, they mentioned Gumball. That's yeah. like the biggest one. Uh, I currently for my like senior film, I've been doing the kind of like mixed media stuff, and that's like my. My big inspiration is Gumball. 
Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if you yeah. guys have anything else. But... Honestly, I was going to agree. And also, yeah. like, yeah. I feel like you inspired us since you were the one who Thank came you. up with the idea yeah. for the game. And in your, like, uh, little presentation oh, for, like, yeah. the proposal <laughs> of the game, it had a lot of clip art and stuff. Yeah. What's happening? Don't worry about you. Well, and thank you. Who? I, thank yeah, you very much. That's Tori. I, oh, I'm pretty sure. Okay. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm like 95% sure that's Tori. Thanks, Tori. Thanks, Tori. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And, and quirkiness yeah. Yeah. that, you know, there's, uh, there's like an ownership that I'm just like, yeah. having like fun and, and kind of being right. campy and like being mm -hmm. unafraid to kind of use like reuse images like a collage of whatever. Yeah. <laughs> what, I, what I kind of wish as I'm playing it now and I, I mean I really just like I adore these characters they're hilarious um, the animations are so much fun I kind of wish there was more trash I just kind of wish yeah. there was more crap yeah, everywhere yeah. You know, I, I think that there's, we start to get, like, it's just exciting to, like, jump on this stuff and, like, goof about, um, and I kind of wish there was more of it, uh, but I think that that's a... Trash out the wazoo, basically. Yeah, I keep dying. <laughs> apparently, but I kind of like the, the death oh, screen, so I'm going to go Thank you. It. <laughs> you did a good job with I the I think these clouds, these are, these are so fun. We, um, for, like, the, the colors, when I originally was... Pitching it, I was thinking uh, the game Turtles in Time, the Ninja Turtles game, mm -hmm. uh, just like super '80s, '90s neon bright colors, and that's what's in our a lot of our mood boards. Yeah. Were that were just like '90s slime <laughs> toys and, and yes. stuff like that. Um, okay, yeah, yeah, got we... this. Wait, turn around, turn around, turn around. I believe right. in you. Nope. Wait, Tori, aren't I you think... at work right no. now? <laughs> 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 Getting out of Tori. I think Dang, Tori. Don't call out a chat. <laughs> Not a fan. Anything but the fans. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Well, like, I also realized when you're playing this that um, the columns that you're on, like, since the a 3D object and since I just put it in the tile pack that um, that since it has those ridges that's what it keeps like messing with the animation because it thinks that ridge is like a little platform to stand on and it's not but that's okay push him push him off yeah Take long that. live the king long live, live the, the king, king. I'm gonna do some speed runs oh this, yeah let's do it I think. Yes. Thanks, Tori. We'll be we'll be featured at like speedrun <laughs> festivals and. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Heck yes. I don't think there's anything up there, anyways. Oh heck yeah. I'm going. Thanks, heck Tori. Yeah. Don't let the oh. little sponge. <laughs> dang it. Oh dang. He touched it first. <laughs> Originally for the game over screen, I was gonna have his like fingers twitch. Oh really? <laughs> but. That would be funny. And then beams would disappear. Yes. So another question. So at what point did y'all hit your stride, like your your art, like stride, where things started to really come together, and it became a little easier to piece <coughs> together, like, like like putting down the first draft of the sketch where you start painting. Like, well, when did that happen? Probably with me, it was probably the rat. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it was the rat. It was the rat. Oh, it was the rat. Yeah, it was. It, I don't know. It just it just yeah. ended up being the first draft of the rat, the the really like detailed one that was before yeah, was the one that's in the game. Yeah, that was pretty iconic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yeah, no, it was definitely the rat. For did me. You, Emma yeah. did the uh, the. We originally also had a little cleaner enemy, but he had some glitches yeah. with his animation. Yeah. Did, did you, I did the sponge guy. Too. Yeah. Do you, do you like the rat more than those two? Yes. Okay. I like the rat the best. I mean, I'm a little biased because pizza rat, you know. Oh, that's true. I'm a certified rat animator. <laughs> <laughs> that is a reader. Yes. Rat animator. Yeah, that's. This is gonna be a very difficult. Oh yeah. Trick I'm about to pull off here. I think I believe in you though. Okay. You're gonna jump over him. Trick shot. Are you trying to jump over him or? I think no, onto I'm him. Do like a midair punch. Oh, that's gonna be <laughs> rough. <laughs> Trick shot. I'm waiting for. Oh. Uh, we didn't. Oh! 
<laughs> that was awesome. I was, like, I was celebrating. Everyone was like, oh. <laughs> we were like, like delayed so much. That yeah, was that was funny. Yeah, uh, I think we, we. I mean, we were all making like individual stuff, and then like I think once Ailey like input like the, the backgrounds and stuff. Yeah, we it kind of like breathed life to everything. For sure, and it really like came together, and we're like. For me, I was like, wow, okay, this is like pretty. It's happening. It's happening. It's pretty cool. So that was like my moment. Yeah. Like, it was like right after midterms, right? When yeah. yeah. I think that's I, I think that's one of the coolest things about watching like a, like a group project kind of unfold in such a way is that, and maybe like Haley, you can speak more on this, is that being the person that kind of assembles all of it, right? It's like you have all this hard work that's coming from different folks, mm -hmm. and then to be the one that's kind of like piecing it together, that's like almost. It's both like anxiety inducing but really rewarding. Yeah. So so how did you kind of move through that process? Um well like at first like when I wasn't getting like the work because obviously everyone was working on it, mm -hmm. like I didn't know what to do. So I'm like, well, I guess I can help out doing this aspect or this aspect. So we actually had a tile palette before this that was 2D that I worked on and then we were like it just doesn't make sense. Like we need more 3D in that. Mm -hmm. So then we tasked Cameron to like try to do 3D and then like we had to figure out like how to do 3D and like import the 3D settings. So we ended up just importing the 3D, like rendering them out and having them as like PNGs. Yeah. So like that seemed to work the best. So yeah. that kind of just like helped us figure out how to import all of our stuff. So yeah. pretty much everything in here is a PNG. Yeah. Um, yeah, even the even like the barrels and those those aren't actual three D elements. They're just been yeah. flattened down. Yeah, which helped a lot too because I could make these these three <laughs> objects. I could make them have like a texture resolution that was really high. Yeah, um, and they would look really cool because they were just going to be still images that would be placed in the game mm -hmm. and not actual like OBJ like three D objects that would be yeah. placed in the game. It also makes it fit with the the backgrounds like stock images of a city and flattening those 3d objects make them very similar to oh, that no. that right. flattened city oh no oh no you're you stuck uh oh the impassable trash <coughs> tile. i guess there's like a corner there and every time you get on a corner it like sticks he doesn't sticks like it yeah. at all just a big piece of gum right there okay <laughs> chew gum that's intentional you got stuck on might have to, to my that's a feature secret, might have to restart it secret whoa whoa <laughs> oh, oh no. no that's that's not working that's an easter egg that is yeah, an that's, easter egg yeah that's by design if you hit every key uh, <laughs> you'll eventually find a bunch of easter eggs okay. <laughs> <laughs> smash his keys all right but uh, yeah it did it like um trying to like working with everyone, like trying to figure out what we were doing first, for me at least was kind of hard because like I didn't know how it was gonna look. Mm -hmm. Neither did anybody else. So it's like, okay, we're like lost right now trying to figure this out. Until we like 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 got together and we actually like had meetings about it mm -hmm. to figure out exactly what we're gonna do and like kind of just threw out ideas. That's when we started like figuring out what was gonna happen. Um Yeah. yeah. Right. We eventually started making like lists of things that like for like the animators we had like for the bosses and then like Frank and Beans like not bosses enemies mm -hmm. uh like what each like animations that we needed like the f deaths the attacks and like the movement stuff mm -hmm. and like once we like figured that out and then like figured out how we could import Tomb Boom files into Harmony. No, yeah. oh, that's not right. Tomb Boom Unity. Into, uh, <laughs> Unity. Sort of ends with a Y, right? There you go, yeah. Into Unity, Tomb then it helped. Yeah. yeah. Well, our, our original ideas were a lot, a lot bigger than I think what our product is. And that's just, we had to get to this just because this was only made in a semester. Yeah. So, like, our original ideas were probably just too far of a reach for us. Which we were going to, yeah, we were going to have multiple levels and, like, eventually go to, like, a, a, a Mr. Clean type. Sir Spotless. His name was Sir Spotless. He was an off-brand Mr. Clean character. <laughs> I designed him. Yeah. We'll, we'll show it in our behind the scenes. Um, but, yeah, eventually you would get to him and fight him. Um, yeah. So, yeah. But I think this was like a pretty good outcome for like a majority of the team not ever using this program before yeah. mm -hmm. I, I was also just not used to the flow of like making animation always constantly at the same like plane 
and like I wasn't used to having uh, like different animations connect into the other animations because mm -hmm. I've, I've only ever done narrative stuff so right. I didn't know how they would look in like a, a game at all um, but I definitely learned a lot for this um, it's just a whole oh she's making noise <laughs> um, and that's really cool like you know to hear more about that sort of um, shift in thinking. Yeah. Same, like, you know, um, even with what Cameron was saying about the uh, the 3D stuff, we had like a conversation around, like, you know, oftentimes in, in games that use like 3D visuals with their 2D games, um, like the why, as to, like, why do you make that decision to turn it into a render and then yeah. an image over having a 3D thing, which would have made a nightmare for Haley to implement. Yeah, yeah, yeah been, for like, sure. Crazy and optimization would have gone out the window, right? And it's, those are really critical moments in like the process where you're like, oh wow, this is like something that I never thought about before, and now I know it, and now it's like something that I can like bring up in the future or something that I think about, um, and it's really cool. And how you're taking like past skills, like you know, you're talking about battle with the the way that you're used to animating, mm -hmm. and that's kind of like it, that gives like the character and the fluidity and the way that those. It's interesting to see how, from the practice that you're used to, how that really like is embodied in the character <coughs> and the storytelling with their movement and gesture. There's a lot of there's a lot of fun like satire here, a lot of comedy, but even the movements are like they're interesting, and you can see where your your skills are being applied there, and that in like just every frame. So that's really um, that's super rewarding for like the player to just kind of like see that to see like the characterization there in the movement. <coughs> And like how much thought is put into beans, you know, they, you know, what the other characters and how they move, um, it's hilarious. Thank and you. I think that kind of, you know, for for each of those characters, that's really important. Um, that's kind of what like sustains my my like interest as I move through this stuff. I think I it's like really push things in front of these guys. <coughs> what are you gonna say, Kim? Oh, I'm just saying. <laughs> I think it's really oh, no. it's really cool how like. <laughs> Like does a little bit of like all oh, of our personalities in this game, which I think is really cool. For sure. Um, yeah. But, but yeah, it's a little bit right there. Ooh. Which where's your personality at? Uh <laughs> I didn't. Cameron I didn't has the anything. worst personality ever. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I had to make a joke about Cameron at least once. It's instinctual. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron was uh, respect. Ca I treat Cameron with the most respect ever. I was the uh, for this role. I was the lead janitor too. Every time yeah. somebody would I spill a was, drink, I, I would I come up with a mop janitor. and I would instantly like just clean up everything. We we pretended no our issues. we had a little studio, and every time someone was like late or something, we'd be like, "All right, you're demoted to janitor." That's why that's yeah. why Emma is the janitor in the credits because, because I will <laughs> technically I'm the head janitor then. <laughs> It just became a little inside it's like joke. A run -on yeah, play. it's like <laughs> it's probably only funny to us, and that's okay. That's, 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 <laughs> we just lost views. Of <laughs> <laughs> Literally, like okay, five yeah. people left. Your own dad <laughs> left. <laughs> yeah, it's like, so I think I failed no. enough at this title. Um, and our, probably how we lost some views there is because I was so awful. Uh, do we want to switch on over then? Yeah. To a little bit behind yeah. The scenes? I, think, I think we're at the halfway point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's do it. Awesome. So I'm going to do a thing. Twenty percent. Here we go. Let's get ready for behind right. the scenes. Behind the scenes. Oh, great. Right. Thank you. That was the rat. That was really good. That was the rat's that dad. Behind the scenes. Oh, did we right. lose our camera? Get off the camera. Oh, okay. Somebody else get on the camera. Oh, we lost our camera. We lost oh, okay. that I think one. We lost the main. Oh my camera. bad. I'll fix that. Goodbye, no one. Thirteen. Yeah, no, we got back. Hello, thirteen viewers. Oh no. Oh my God, they're flipping out. Technically, eleven viewers. There we go. Technically, eleven. Yeah. Since we're two of them. I'm also. Hey, that's still pretty good. That's pretty good. It's right in the thirteenth, you know, right after. Yes. Thirteen views. Thirteen. Happy Friday the thirteenth. Is it really? Yeah. We appreciate you all and your wonderful 
Oh, now it's down to nine again. Oh. <laughs> it keeps going to nine. Go That's because. That's okay. Because so I just go into I the PGF? Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Whatever you make of that, you can go off, but I'll be off camera over here. I'm just hanging out. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Uh, so I wanted to first show, uh, I did I did mostly the, the uh, animation for Frank and Beans, who are the main characters. We wanted to show some of the, like, early Earth. concepts, the stuff that we pitched. Because at the beginning of the semester, we all came in, pitched a project, and then we eventually formed groups around those. Um, but yeah, here's the main guy. This is a little, little doodle I did at the beginning of the semester. Oh, shoot. Oh, no. Right. <laughs> uh, this is, I think, was this me? Wait, which yeah. one? Yeah, yes. This was me. This, uh, <laughs> so before I did, like, Wait, the trash one? <laughs> no. What are you doing? Cameron. My screen froze. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mr. Technology over here is pointing this is like an What's going attempt on? director. I got promoted. We had <laughs> <laughs> then immediately demoted. The yeah. original Talk idea for Beans was also to make him like a stock image. So I had this a tooth mouth. cat. The tooth cat. Rain insisted on having this little cat mouth. So they wanted it so much. But so it's going to be a little fart cat. <laughs> it looks like he's making a little poop noise. Yes. Uh, this is a little doodle that Cameron did just, just like do some character designs. Mm -hmm. um, this is the original art that I, I pitched was um, Frank and Beans here. He was originally going to have like a chicken pan, like a chicken bat type thing. Uh, and our main character was just a simple bar of soap, purple bar of soap. But uh, obviously, like the designs have changed a lot, especially Frank here. He's uh, Definitely change for sure. Mm -hmm. Can you speak a little bit about what part of you messed up? Sorry. I think that just might have been accidental. His huh? like his whole body is basically his head there with his little. Uh, Hi, Jovan. Hey, Jovan. Jovan. Uh, breasts, basically <laughs> dangling over his underwear, and I just I think when I went to go animate, I just didn't. I thought it was just too much information in one area. Yeah, I feel like he definitely got a little squattier. He definitely, yeah. He, did, yeah. he mm -hmm. definitely got more of a body now and some shoulders, which I think he, he needed for sure. Yeah, I think yeah, it was good. There's a little bit more to work with there as far as just yeah. like um, overall, like, yeah, your, your gesture and like how that the body language reads with the actions. It's so action intensive. For sure. And even like when I was animating, he was super hard to animate his legs because his legs are so short and just getting that's why he's his run is super snappy mm. because showing the bend was just so difficult without having like his foot go into the ground or something like yeah. that you can even see it here because basically there's no bend right here yeah. it makes it a little awkward but I, in in motion you don't even i don't even think you notice it mm. no. i feel like you very successfully were able to get it to look fluid and nice oh yeah Guys working with them? Yeah, we're just streaming. Yeah, well, campus closed. Okay. Yeah. We'll be back on Monday. You know, do a business hours. All right, we'll uh, wrap it up. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a technical difficulty. <laughs> 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 we'll be right back after these, well, these <laughs> messages. All right, well, we'll, um... <laughs> we got what, twenty minutes left. Okay. I don't think any. I don't know if they were notified. No, no, that might be on me. I'll take that one. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 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 Thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, <laughs> no, just kidding. I think we hired security too. So. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> All right, folks. So. Uh, yeah, I think I think what we'll do is, as champions of the rules, um, I'll take I'll I'll take for that one. Okay. Um, my apologies, no, folks. I, I, it's okay. okay. It's I think so we could, we did. Strange. We got a lot in, I think. Yeah. 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 I think I think Twitch would agree with us that that was a excellent uh, yes. forty minutes of amazing yes. content. Yeah. So uh, unfortunately, folks, I'm, I'm gonna. Quick, real quick. Any last minute questions? <laughs> really quick. No they questions. they don't like us. No questions. No questions. Thank you, no, no, no. our few viewers. We enjoyed you.
Yes. Thank you for watching. Thanks everyone for watching. Thank you so much. Show the rat. The rat. The so rat. Show the rat. Thank you for watching the Jonas Brothers. <laughs>